so you're having a problem with your shower valve. Just can't get the water to shut off all the way. And now it's a steady stream. Is your water bill going up? If so, then this video is for you. Let's get started. We start with removing the two screws, holding the face plate on. Then we remove the set screw with an Allen wrench. Now to remove the handle. Wiggle and pull straight out. Now we remove the cover plate. Time to remove the cartridge housing. By unscrewing it counterclockwise, you might need a pair of channel locks to loosen it. Remove outer sleeve. Checking O-ring for damage. Time to remove the cartridge. This is your cartridge. Not all cartridges are the same. Now you have the cartridge removed. It's time to check the valve body for any debris or damage. As you can see right here, we found the problem why. It's always leaking and never stops. As you can see here, the ball seats and springs need to be replaced. First, we need to remove rubber seats and springs from valve body. Let's remove the seats and springs, then replace with new ones. You can use your Allen wrench to remove seats and springs. Hit Home Depot or Lowe's and pick up a repair kit. This kit has seats and springs. Now it's time to replace seats and springs. Remember to use plumber's grease to lubricate rubber seats and springs along with O-rings before reinstalling. Time to reinstall the ball cartridge. Make sure to lubricate ball cartridge. Make sure to line up this groove. Then gently slide cartridge in. Make sure the ball valve moves freely. Install outer sleeve. Then put on cartridge retainer ring. Making sure to snug it down good. Now it's time to turn water back on. So you can test the repair for leaks. Now that the water is back on. And water is running. Shut off valve to check if it's still leaking. You're done. Time to replace the cover plate and reinstall the handle. The job is now complete. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.